Wonderful learners, it is wonderful to have you. Great learners. We appreciate your presence on this platform. Today we shall be looking at classification of crops. At the end of this lesson, learners should be able to list the criteria for classification of crops, list and explain classification of crops based on their lifespan, list and explain the classification of crops based on their uses. Crops plant, crop plants are classified based on the following criteria which are classification based on lifespan, classification based on uses, and classification based on sources of essential nutrients. Classification of crops based on lifespan. Number one, we have the annual crops. Annual crops are crops which complete their lifespan within one year or one growing season. Examples of such crops are rice, maize, soybeans, cowpea, millet, guinea corn. Some annual crops complete two lifespan within one year. Such crops are referred to as ephemeral crops. And examples of such crops are okra and lettuce. Next one we have the biennial crops. These are crops which complete their lifespan within two years or two growing seasons. Examples include pineapple, cabbage, sugar beets, carrot, ginger, cassava, onion, and cocoa. Then the last one in this category, we have the perennial crops. Perennial crops are crops that live for more than two years. They are generally referred to as permanent crops. Some of these crops can live for over 30 years. Examples include mango, cocoa, papa, oil palm, rubber, citrus, cashew, guava, mango, and coconut. The next one is classification of crops based on their uses. Based on uses, we have cereal crops. These are grass crops grown for their edible seeds. They belong to the family Graminae. They are rich in carbohydrates. Example, we have maize, rice, millet, wheat, guinea also known as sorghum, and we also have oats. The next one is legumes. Legumes are crops also known as pulses. The seeds of these crops are rich in protein. They have some bacteria in their roots that fix nitrogen to the soil. Examples of such crops are soya beans, cowpea, granite, bambara nuts, pigeon nuts. The next one we have the sugar crops. These are crops used to make sugar. Example include sugar cane and sugar beets. The beverage. Beverages are crops used to make food drinks. Example of such crops we have cocoa, coffee, and tea. We have the root and tuber crops. These are crops that store food in the underground parts of the plants. Some store food in the swollen roots, e.g. the carrot, cassava, while others store food in underground stem, e.g. yam, cocoa yam, and Irish potato. We have the fruit crops. These are crops grown because of their edible fruits. Example of such crop we have orange, cashew, apple, purple, avocado pear, 
guava, banana, and many more. Then we have spices. Spices are crops added to food to make it taste and smell better. Example, we have pepper, ginger, locust beans, nutmeg, garlic, and onion. We have the oil crops. These crops are rich in oil and fat, which are used for cooking. Example, we have the granite, oil palm, shea butter, sunflower, soya beans, coconut, and bean seeds. Vegetable crops. These are crops whose leaves and fruits are eaten, fresh or boiled. They are very rich in vitamins and minerals. Example of such, we have cabbage, bitter leaf, lettuce, okra, onions, water leaves, and many more. Then we have the forage crops. Forage crops are grown for feeding livestock. Example, we have the gamba grass, elephant grass, alfalfa, and the rest. Most food crops are also grown as forage crops. Example of such crops are maize, millet, cowpea, and guinea corn. Industrial crops. Industrial crops are used for the manufacturing of various useful items. Industrial crops include fiber crops, latex and gum crops. These crops produce liquid from which gum and rubber are made. Example, we have the para rubber, India rubber and gum arabic. Then we have the draw crops. These are crops planted for their medicinal and stimulating effects. Examples are neem tree, cooking, we need tobacco, cola nut, hemp, lemongrass, opium, and many more. Then we have the ornamental crops. These are crops grown for the purpose of decorating our environment. Assessment. List the criteria for classification of crops. Number two, list and explain the classes of crops based on their lifespan. Number three, list and explain four classes of crops based on their uses. <laughs>